Buddha gave three beautiful statements. We can call them the mantra, we can call them the sutras, we can call them the, the potent jewels. Because each, I can speak for hours on each one of them. They are as deep and potent. But I will just touch the essence of that today. Most of us must have heard this. The first sutra, the first chant is Buddham Sharnam Gachami. Seems very simple. That I take refuge in the Buddha. Who is the Buddha here? Are we referring to Siddhartha, the Gautam, the Buddha, which happened 2600 years ago? Should we take refuge in, in him as a Vyakti, as a person? No. When we say take refuge in the Buddha, meaning take refuge in the one who has touched the highest truth. So when you chant this mantra, you can just invoke and remember and pay your gratitude to any being that you know, whom you feel has touched the highest possibility, the highest truth, the Buddhahood. And when we say we take refuge in the Buddha, meaning I bow down to the one who has touched that highest truth. Because I know it's the phenomena of energy and the energy gets transferred from one form to another form. So when I bow down to the Buddha, I'm in the presence of the Buddha, the awakening of Buddha affects me. The awakening of Buddha also transfers in me. I receive some seeds of his or her awakening in my heart. And the soil of my heart also gets nourished in the presence of that, that one, the awakened one. That is Buddham Sharnam Gachami. Second Sutra says, Sangham Sharnam Gachami. I take refuge in the Sangha. What is Sangha? All the people that I know who have been on the path, whom I have judged, whom I have mocked, whom I have rejected, and who are probably still with me. I take refuge in all of them because I recognize, I acknowledge that in some form, in some way, they too are trying to fix their pot. They too are on the similar journey. I do not judge them. And I know the secret of this life. I understand the science of this life. The spiritual life, where 1 plus 1 does not become 2, where 1 plus 1 becomes 11. I know the force. This is called the Buddha field, the collective field of consciousness. This collective field of consciousness has the capacity, the power to awaken even the most sleepy ones. So hence, I take refuge in the Sangha and I contribute my life towards the Sangha. Remember the pot which needs to be fixed. The pot which says, from today I shift the focus from what is in it for me to what can I offer, what can I give. So I give myself to the upliftment of this collective consciousness called Sangha. So I take refuge in the Sangha. The third Sutra, the third Mantra. Dhammam Sharnam Gachami. I take refuge in the Dhamma. What is the Dhamma? Is it the religion? No. Is it a scripture? No. Is it the words of the Buddha? No. What is Dhamma then? I take refuge in the Dhamma. Dhamma is the highest understanding of the laws of life. What are the laws of life? Very simple. You will reap what you will sow. If you sow distractions, you will reap distractions. If you sow hatred, you will reap hatred. If you sow jealousy, you will reap jealousy. If you sow greed, you will reap greed. And if you sow love, you will reap love. If you see, if you, if you sow friendliness, you will cultivate friendliness. If you sow the feeling, the bhava of Jagat Kalyana, your own Kalyana too will happen. That is what you will reap. That is Dhamma. The law of life, the law of nature, the eternal law of cosmos, the karma, the cause and effect. So I take refuge in that law. And once I take refuge in the law means I am now in absolute rhythm and harmony with the law. I don't go against the flow of this life. I flow with it. I flow with this law. And when I flow with law, life becomes beautiful, life becomes blissful.
and I become the creator of my own destiny. And my destiny is to be enlightened, to touch the highest bliss. And so I become the creator of my own nirvana, my own moksha, my own liberation, my own enlightenment. Dhammam sharnam gachami.